Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be bringing you another build video. We're going to be doing Stealth Demogorgon. Now what we're going to do with this build is we're going to take advantage of his two add-ons, Red Moss and Vermilion Webcap. Red Moss increases the time to emerge from a portal by 15%, increases the duration of the undetectable effect by 8 seconds, and emerging from the portal becomes completely silent. And then the Vermilion Webcap increases the undetectable effect by another three seconds so we will be undetectable for 11 seconds longer than normal when appearing from a portal and they won't hear that loud ass screech but they'll just hear the loud ass footsteps <laughs> as for our perks today we're going to be going with unforeseen trail of torment machine learning and dark devotion for Unforeseen, whenever you break a generator, that generator takes your terror radius for 30 seconds and the terror radius is set to 32 meters. For that duration, you are undetectable. Trail of Torment, after you damage a generator, you will become undetectable until the generator stops regressing, whether that be from a survivor starting to repair it or from it regressing all the way down to zero. Machine Learning, whenever you damage a generator, that generator becomes compromised, and whenever the compromised generator is finished, you, be, you get 10% haste and become undetectable for 40 seconds. And then Dark Devotion, whenever you hit your survivor with a basic attack, the terror radius is transferred to the obsession for 30 seconds, and it is set to 32 meters, and you will be undetectable during that time. So as you can see, it is all just based around us being completely undetectable. We're gonna try and get some jump scares and see how we can mind game the loops with Demogorgon's Shred without having any sort of terror radius. So let's get right on into it. Larry's Memorial. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, all right. Oh, let's just set one right there. So our goal is to get as many jump scares from these portals as possible. Where do I think this person will look? They sit there. I hit my obsession to start, so we are now undetectable. Just getting a lot of injures right now. Because they have no idea where I'm at or where I'm coming from. Alright, let's not slug. They don't even know where I'm coming from. This is actually a really good map to be on for this, I think. Someone is on this gen. Pick that again. Alright, undetectable is gone. We just bring this one down into the basement. We got a lot of value out of that, honestly. We got two hooks, three injures. Couldn't have asked for a better start for Larry's with this build. Don't really know what this Sable is doing. Decisive, maybe? Nope. All right, we got two in the basement. This is not voting too well for them. Now we're undetectable for the next 40 seconds, plus we have 10% haste. And we got a DC. And... Uh, was she just not looking behind her? Can we get another one in the basement? Or are we gonna get body blocked? Well, the bot sure tried. 
All right, let's uh, get you back on that hook and then uh, get the sable out of the game, right? This has been a very, very oppressive start to begin with. The, the survivors just don't know what to do. They don't know where to go. They don't know where I'm coming from. This build can be absolutely disgusting against the right survivors and in the right hands. We didn't even have to use the add-ons, we just used perks. And that's a fourth one straight down into the basement. There we go. That's four basement hooks off of one gen, two DCs. Now go ahead. And then that is that. Oh, wait! Meg got off! The dead hard? Right back down. <laughs> I actually managed to make this go on a little bit longer. We got full value out of this build. Basement was our best friend. <laughs> that was a very, very quick game. So, we will just go ahead and do another one. Alright, so for this next match, we are actually going to be running both iridescent add-ons with the Lepros Lycan and the Red Moss. The Lepros Lycan reveals the ores of all survivors while traversing the upside down, and then once we exit the portal, any survivors within 16 meters of an active portal are revealed for 3 seconds. So this is actually going to be very good for jump scares, because if they're on a generator near the portal, they won't hear us coming, but I will see exactly where they are as long as they're near a portal. It, we'll get value out of it. So let's go ahead and get right into the last game. All right, Auto Haven. Let's go. Oh, this gen's kind of out in the open, but we'll, we'll, we'll hide the portal here. We didn't even get to use the portals in the last match, so we'll see how this this one goes. Uh, it's kind of a lot of open areas. I did just see a bird fly out over here. She's gonna flare to the left. Hello, David. Ah, a little late on that. <laughs> Why do we greed pellets against Demogorgon? You've got to be a timing god to not get messed up by that. Alright, all we can hope for is just a little bit of value. A little bit of value on this build, instead of just <laughs> survivors being uh, not at their best right now. <laughs> Here. And we can go all the way over here. I'm not sure that anyone's gonna be over here, no. But I did see one over at this gen. Not this close one, but the one all the way over there. Then we're actually gonna put a portal here. I am still undetectable. No. Nope. Sealing my portals? Ah, 
Didn't even mean the M2 fake there. <laughs> I just uh, clicked the button too early. There we go. That's someone who knows how to greed. Wow, she just kept going. I'm wondering if she just kept going because she couldn't really determine the fact that I actually was not behind her. Anybody over on this gen? over there. <laughs> Didn't even hear me coming. <laughs> this build is actually insane. Is it not the best build in the world? Obviously, I mean, there are stronger builds than this. There's definitely no arguing against that. But there's just something about this build that just... Makes it stand out a lot. <laughs> Selfie Gorgon is not dead. We already have a kill. <laughs> that is one down. Go ahead and kick this gen. We aren't going to get any perk value out of that, unfortunately, but that is quite okay. Actually, I don't need to put a portal there. I do want to go after this Sable. We are greeting pallets. This blocks your window. Ah, pallet side. We are destroying the portals and I'm not a big fan of that. Go to this one. I'm not sure anyone's gonna be over here. Doesn't look like it. It looks like they're trying to generally stay on one side of the map. And it's over there. So what we can do. This is another very good way of Sneaking up on survivors is using our M2, which I honestly forget that channeling the abyss does that. Ah, too slow. Thought that she was going to double back. The Sable's actually pretty good. Words I never thought that I would say. And here I thought that I actually had the end of that animation. Kind of thought that she was done with it. However, I did not have the timing down. Alright, the moonwalk got us. Alright, now we have 30 seconds of her having our terror radius, so we can very quickly jump somewhere. I'm, I'm guessing that they're over on the one gen that doesn't have a portal.
did not even see me coming. This gamer is not using their camera. Okay. I guess David wanted to take that hit. We actually have two kills that Sable died. Now it's just the Claudette and the David. It's just the Claudette. <laughs> she was over here. Let's see if we can find her. Not on this side of the map. However, if she's anywhere near a portal, and she is... Doesn't even know. Don't even know where to go. And now for the more. that's going to do it for this video today guys thank you so much for watching i had a ton of fun on this build and honestly i think this might just be one of my regular builds to rotate for demogorgon it was uh quite effective as you guys can see i do live stream every tuesday and friday at one o'clock us central if you want to go ahead and catch me there the link will be in the description we play dead by daylight web fishing cozy games horror games we play a lot of things mostly dead by daylight and i'm thinking of making this into a series i, I might do a build of the week series for a bunch of different killers so be prepared to see a lot of that along with more Meet the Killer episodes and hopefully more collaborations on that series as well. If you guys did enjoy this video and you have any build suggestions for any killers, please leave a comment below, leave a like and a subscribe. It is free, it helps me out and lets me know that you are enjoying the content that I'm putting out on the channel. And with that guys, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.